Well, good morning once again. Um, today we are in the Gospel of John. Uh, we are in the 17th chapter. In fact, I've changed it. Gail and Catherine have the, the, the manuscript for today, and I've changed it. I've expanded it. We are going to look at the entirety of the 17th chapter of the Gospel of John. Um, and I'm reading today from the New Century Version. Um, don't ask me why. I just like that version, I guess. Um, here we are in, in John's Gospel. So John chapter 17, if you want to grab your Bibles and go looking for it. Um, here in John, we have to remember that just a little before this, we've had John's version of the Last Supper with the feet washing and all of that. And John's Gospel is a little different in that here now Jesus is going to pray. And we, we talk a lot about um, the Lord's Prayer, right? The Lord's Prayer, as we find in, in the, the Synoptic Gospels, a couple of, and, and, and in the Didache. Um, but here we have the Lord praying, not the Lord's Prayer. Um, and here, rather than in the, in the, in the Synoptics, uh, in Mark, Mark, Matthew, and Luke, where Jesus is praying in the garden after they go to the garden, here, Jesus prays, and then they go to the garden, and then we have the arrest. So this is immediately prior to the arrest of Jesus, is what's going on. And just immediately before he knows that it's all going to start to go down, as they say, his final thought is for those that are following him then, and then as we go through this, as we get to verse 20, um, You'll see that his prayer is prayer is a prayer at that point for all of us, uh, not just for the disciples. But prior to that, we need to remember that it's about the, 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 those that are with him there, and we have to be careful that we don't start reading some exclusiveness into that and some some predestination ideas into that, because what he's talking about is the ones that have been chosen to be with him at that time, the disciples. Okay, and then that might not just be the twelve; that could be the. Um, um, much larger, um, broader sense of the definition of disciple, but it's those that are there in that time, not looking at that throughout time. So that's where we need to, the predestination and um, uh, kind of ideas we have to be careful. That's not what he's getting at there, at least not in my opinion and my understanding. So um, with that, let's uh, take a look at chapter 17. After Jesus said these things, he looked toward heaven and prayed, Father, the time has come. Give glory to your Son, so that the Son can give glory to you. You gave the Son power over all people, so that the Son could have eternal life to all those who gave you gave him. And this is eternal life, that people know you, the only true God, and that they know Jesus Christ, the one you sent. Having finished the work you gave me to do, I brought you glory on earth. And now, Father, give me glory with you. Give me the glory I had with you before the world was made. I showed what you are like to those you gave me from the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have obeyed your teaching. Now they know that everything you gave me comes from you. I gave them the teachings you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew that I truly came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the people in the world, but for those you gave me, because they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine, and my glory is shown through them. I am coming to you. I will not stay in the world any longer, but they are still in the world. Holy Father, keep them safe by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they will be one, just as you and I are one. While I was with them, I kept them safe by the power of your name. The name you gave me, I protected them, and only one of them, the one worthy of destruction, was lost, so that the scripture could come true. I am coming to you now, but I pray these things while I am still in the world, so that these followers can have all of my joy in them. I have given them your teaching, and the world has hated them, because they don't belong in the world, just as I don't belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but to keep them safe from the evil one. They don't belong to the world just as I don't belong to the world. Make them ready for your service through your truth. Your teaching is truth. I have sent them into the world just as you sent me into the world. For their sake, I am making myself ready to serve so that they can be ready for their service of the truth. 
I pray for these followers, but I am also praying for all those who will believe in me because of their teaching. Father, I pray that they can be one as you are in me and I am in you. I pray that they can also be one in us. Then the world will believe that you have that you sent me. I have given these people the glory that you gave me so that you, they can be one just as you and I are one. I will be in them and you will be in me so that they will be completely one. Then the world will know that you sent me and that you love them just as much as you love me. Father, I want these people that you gave me to be with me where I am. I want them to see my glory which you gave me because you loved me before the world was made. Father, you are the one who is good. The world does not know you, but I know you, and these people know you sent me. I showed them what you are like, and I will show them again. Then they will have the same love that you have for me, and I will live in them. Honestly, I, I read that, and I'm, I'm uh, tempted to say amen and move on, because to me, that. I'm not exactly sure how I can expand upon what, what, what Jesus has just said. Um, but I will try, perhaps, to, to, to give some, some insight in different places in this. Um, I apologize, though. This is a, a, a very, very glorious and glory-filled um, prayer. And that's what this is. It's a prayer. Uh, this is Jesus' final prayer. To the end, I will live in them. Amen. Let it be so. Um, they're, they're, uh, as we come in the top of this, we, we talk about this glory. Father, the time has come. Give glory to your Son. And the glory is, of course, you have to remember, this is coming up on the crucifixion, isn't it? The arrest, the beating, the crucifixion. Glory has brought you glory on earth. Jesus came and gave, talked about the glory of God, the true the message of God, that God loved you so much that he wants you to love him and he wants you to love your neighbor as you love yourself. Remember that. He's bringing God's love and glory. And now he's going to display that love, how deep and profound and abundant that love is by being beaten by the world because the world will confront, confronts Whatever world, there's a the, the, the evil of the world is hates love and, and it's just it's distraught by love, and so it attacks this love. And he's beaten, he's crucified, but God's glory wins the day as we know. And 40 some days ago, we had resurrection at Easter morning. This week on Thursday, we, we, we celebrated the, the day of ascension, the feast of ascension, which is always on Thursday. Coming up next Sunday will be Pentecost. The ascension is always 10 days prior to Pentecost. And of course, that, that the ascension is, is 40 days after that, that glory. Jesus showing that glory of the resurrection. Um, and in verse 5, he says, And now, Father, give me glory with you. Give me the glory I had with you before the world was made. Now, in John's Gospel, that is very much a reference back to the beginning of the the, of the of the uh, gospel where it says in chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning there was the word the word was with God and the word was God he was with God in the beginning all things were made by him and nothing was made without him uh, in him there was life and that life was the light of all people the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overpowered it the glory of God the glory that Jesus is saying that he's returning to is that glory in heaven and as I talked about on Thursday night, the meme that's going around on Facebook right now is Ascension Day was the day that Jesus went home to work. You know, started to work from home, I think is how it's worded. But he's going back to heaven, and, and he's ascending. And he has, you know, at this point, we, we have our past Ascension Sunday or Thursday. But here yet, he's not yet been arrested. Um, in verse 6, I show what you are like. God is love. Remember that. Remember that when, when we are dealing with each other, when we are looking at Scripture, that we are called to look at things with God's lenses, with God's corrective lenses. And that is that what is the greatest commandment? To love the Lord and to love your neighbor as you love yourself. 
to, upon these, this commandment hangs all the laws and prophets. So everything, absolutely everything, is looked through that. And if your behavior, if anything, is not going through those lenses, if your understanding of Scripture is not going through those lenses, then you need to take them off and put on the right pair of lenses. You need to put on that. He's given you a prescription of how to understand him. I showed you what I showed what you are like to those who gave me from the world. He showed his disciples. Again, here he's talking about the disciples with him. They knew that I truly came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I am praying for them, and that's what he's doing right now. He's praying for them. All I have is yours, and all of you have is mine, and my glory is shown through them. The point there is that this glory that we're talking about, the love of God, is shown through the disciples. These disciples are going to go out, and they're going to model what Jesus has taught them, the way of being, the way of interacting. And then he comes to, he starts coming to this point that he makes over and over and over through this, and one that I tell you should, if it doesn't grieve your heart that the world is the way it is, it should. Um, because right here in this final prayer that Jesus is giving to you, the overarching thing that he's trying to get across to you is one thing. So that they will be one, just as you and I are one. And over and over and over through this, he talks about them being one, about us being one. Even when he comes down in, in uh, verse 22, when he's talking about people today, uh, I have given these people the glory that you have given me so that they can be one, just as you and I are one. And then 23, so that they will be completely one, and that you and that you love them just as much as you love me. The world will know that you love sent me, and that you love them just as much as you love me. The idea there is repeated again. It's, I mean, I haven't even gotten all of them. I did go through and highlight all the points, but it's over, and over, and over there because it's redundant. You know, we come to church, we hear the same message repeatedly, don't we? Well, because we need redundancy, we need repet repetition in, in, in our learning. Because we forget, even if we know, we forget. We forget in the moment of dealing with one another. We forget, and we look at the church today, and it's been said so many times, how fractured it is. And it's become more fractured. Because now not only do we have the, the, this group and that group and the other group of denominations, but within that we have, of course, we've always had division, but now we have another division. We have those that want to start to worship together and those that don't. Those that want to wear masks and those that don't. Those that want to think that we can somehow come in between the two and take them on and off. All of these things, we have these various opinions and, and they, they are dividing us. And it breaks my heart that something as small and as, as you know, it, of course, yeah, it can kill you. That's, that's a very important point and it's a very crucial point. But we have to remember that this is something personal. And if we're going to let that divide us from God and divide us from one another, then we've lost. We're done. We have broken. We've broken from what God wants us to be. One, He wants us to understand, we to work towards understanding rather than to work towards division. To throw our hands up and start yelling at one another is not at all what God is asking us to do. And I'm afraid that that's what's happening all across the country, and I've seen it here. We can't do that, folks. We have to be calm. We have to remember, we have to always digest what we are doing with one another and the way we are conversing. And so when we come back to church, I beg you and I plead with you, and if you haven't got the point, I've been quite repetitive, I think, as I've been preaching up to this point, we've got to have compassion for each other. We have to come with a heart of gentleness and oneness. Because this scripture is God's last, or Jesus, God, his last prayer on earth. And he's praying for us to be one, to come together and to love each other. And that certainly breaks God's heart when God looks down and says, I have one last prayer. I told him one last thing. I put it in John's gospel. And they didn't listen. It breaks my heart. I think it breaks God's heart. I know it breaks God's heart. It should break your heart as well. I pray.
pray for these followers, but I also am praying for all those who will believe in you because of their teaching. Father, we pray that they can be one. Let us be one for their Father. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so very much for this last prayer that Jesus gave, not only for the disciples, but certainly for all of us. Perhaps today uh, we need it as much as ever. And we ask that you engrave it on our hearts. We ask that you instill it in our minds. We ask that you drive it home that we can truly live the prayer that you left with us. The prayer that you gave on our behalf just before you were beaten and killed and resurrected. We certainly pray this as one in your life.